Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are here in Violet, shiny hunting our two last things that we need for the couple hunts we're finishing off. We're doing Fue Coco and the White Squawkabilly is all we need left. Hopefully we can get one of them pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and make sure you're leaving your guesses in the comments below on what one you think we will get first. Personally, I think we're going to get Squawkabilly first. Um, that's 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 going to be my official guess. But uh, I would be curious to see what everybody else thinks, if you agree with me, or if you think we'll get Fue Coco first. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and let me know in the comments. But either way, let's go ahead and get our party filled with eggs uh, and hatch some. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. This is the breeding box. Grab our flame body Pokemon. <clears throat> Put those guys away. Go ahead and tidy up this last box. Uh, okay. We have an extra number. I guess we'll do we'll do all seven of these uh, at the end then, just because. These are just a tiny little number of them, so we'll do them all together. <clears throat> but, alright, lots of boxes. Let's go ahead and get into it. We'll do these five here together, and then we will hop into time lapse. So, yeah, let's see what we get. But, uh, yeah, uh, hoping that we can finish up either one of these hunts, uh, well, both of the hunts, honestly, but... Uh, hoping we can finish these hunts up soon so we can move on to some different things. Uh, there, uh, I don't really know what I want to breed for next, honestly. So, uh, yeah, maybe leave some suggestions down below. We do need to go back to Cloth at some point because I didn't end up actually getting that. So maybe we'll do that one of these days. Do a sandwich for Cloth and then a couple sandwiches for eggs. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> I need to do some more raids, though, to get some more Herba. I'm getting quite low on those. Alright, there's one Squawk. I didn't really pay attention to how many were in this batch. Um, I can tell based on the Pokeball they're in, because the Squawk abilities are <clears throat> in Premier Balls, and the Fue Cocos are in regular base Pokeballs. <clears throat> Right, another squawk. Uh, another thing uh, to let me know in the comments is, do you guys uh, like matching your Pokeballs with your Pokemon, or do you just catch them in, in whatever you catch them in? Because I do a little bit of both. It depends on, depends on where in the in the storyline and where in the game I am. Uh, but I'd like to know what everybody else does, so let me know that down below as well. Alright, three squawks so far. Let's see what else we got. Mm -mm -mm. Must be out of squawks, because it's taking a little bit of extra time for something to hatch. Usually means we're on to the Fue Coco eggs. The Squawkabilly eggs take less steps to hatch, that's why they always hatch first. <clears throat> But let's see, what do we got for Coco? Not pink, unfortunate, but oh well. <clears throat> and let's see what the last one is. <clears throat> well, we know it's going to be a Coco, but is it pink or not is the real question. Right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> E, what a surprise, not pink. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> well, either way, that was the first five. Oh, that's kind of funny. They actually were exactly in that order, too. A lot of times where these take less steps to hatch, even if they're lower down in the party, they'll still hatch before them. But it's funny that they were actually lined up in the exact order they hatched in. Uh, looks like... That'll probably happen again. <laughs> um, but yeah, either way, we are going to hop over into time-lapse 
and I will be back either when we get a shiny or at the end if we don't get one. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you.
Yes! Let's go! Oh, that's so exciting. 
Oh. Oh. Ho, ho. Immediately save. Oh. That's so hype. Which one was it? I assume this one. Yes, we finally finished the Squawkabilly collection. So obviously it, it can't have a mark, uh, naturally, because hatched Pokemon cannot be, cannot have marks naturally. But we can still give it a mark, because this game has a handful of marks that you can get on a Pokemon after it's been caught. So we can technically have a collection of all marked shiny Squawkabilly still. So... That is very cool. Let's hatch this last egg. Must be a cocoa because it's taken a few extra steps. <clears throat> Any crazy chances of back-to-back -back shinies? That'd be insane. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. What do we what do we get out of this this last one? Well, I know it's gonna be a cocoa because it took extra long to hatch. <clears throat> Alright. That's fine. We got one shiny. I am plenty happy with that. <clears throat> oh, that's so exciting. We finally finished our Squawk collection. Alright, let's put this in here. And we'll grab this one. And throw it in there for now. And, well actually, even in here, uh, we've got all of our, all of our shiny Squawks, all in one box. <clears throat> and... We have each of them, we got marks on all of them, because we got two of the, we got two marked uh, blue ones, we got a marked green one, we got a marked yellow one, and we will go get the new treasure hunter mark on this one at the end of the video, like we did with, uh, with this guy here, um, just because I like having the new marks on or the new I like the that new mark is finally obtainable so we're gonna go ahead and get that also sure I'll show off this random shiny mud bray I got the other day uh yeah uh anyways uh let's go back to hatching eggs we will hatch the rest of these eggs up and then I will come back at, at the end and we will go run around the desert a little bit <clears throat> and try to get that mark on uh that Yep, Squawkabilly. We'll also check to see if it happens to have one of the size marks. Because I don't know how size works through eggs, so we'll we'll figure that out. But uh, either way, let me go ahead and hop, uh, hop back in here. Easy to find this box now, because it's uh, got the not full icon. Uh, but yeah, uh, very exciting. We finally have finished our Squawkabilly collection. But uh, yeah, I'll be back. Uh, at the end of these eggs, or if we happen to get a another shiny, that is always possible. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys when I see ya.
Alrighty, everybody, let's go ahead and finish up this video. <clears throat> we'll do these last few eggs and the last couple extra as well. But uh, yeah, very glad to have finished up the Squawkabilly collection. I think it's kind of funny that I said at the start of this video, Oh, I think we're gonna get Squawkabilly first, and then turn around and got it in this video. Had like a Joseph Joestar moment or something of seeing the future. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> either way, uh, very excited there. Uh, but uh, yeah, go ahead and leave some name suggestions down below for all four different Squawkabilly colors. I think it'd be kind of cool to give them like a, um, give them like a group name. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't, I'm not thinking of any off the top of my head that would be good, but if anybody has any good group names, uh, for one of each form, go ahead and leave them down below. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, very, very excited to have finally finished that. Uh, I don't, I don't know what it was about Squawkabilly. I just, I saw him, I saw the different forms, and I was like, ooh, I like him. So, uh, yeah, very glad to have all four of the different colors shiny. I, I've always liked Pokemon that are like Squawkabilly. Like, I really like, I like Eevee for all of its different evolutions. I like Rotom for all of its different forms. I liked Minior for all his different colors. But Minior kind of irritated me with the shiny because the shiny was just like another color of it. It wasn't something that like really you could see the shiny like because how many different Minior's are there like six or seven and then the shiny makes it like seven or eight something like that. So yeah, I really wish that Minior kind of worked more like Squawkabilly, but uh, maybe if they bring it back in a newer game. Maybe it will, because I think I remember when Pokemon Home came out, people had said that uh, Minior's shiny artwork in that looked like it could have been kind of working like this, in the sense of it's slightly different, the shiny is slightly different based on the form color. I hope that it, it, that's the case if Minior comes back in the, the second DLC, um, but uh, who knows? <clears throat> I really hope Minior comes back in the second DLC, because it is... One of the few Pokemon not available on the Switch at all. So, I think that is pretty crazy. Definitely hope that it comes back uh, sometime soon. Well, I think it was in... Was it in Snap? New Snap or Snap whatever it was called? Yeah, it was po new Pokemon Snap. I think it was in that. Obviously, that doesn't really count as like a full proper Pokemon game. Um... I did play New Snap uh, when it came out uh, and had a good time with it. I didn't play any of the like free update levels though, uh, but I did play through the whole base game when it first came out. Uh, maybe I'll go back to that game at some day, at some point and try to hundred percent it, because it is a nice, just like relaxing game to play every once in a while. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is dry for some reason. I guess I'm not really sure why. I've been sitting here sipping a soda while hatching these eggs for a little over an hour or a little closer to two hours <laughs> but uh either way hatch up these last two eggs and wrap up the video oh yes we do need to i did say we would go out and get a little mark on our new shiny here <clears throat> and we will do that All right, we have one egg left, and I'm fairly certain it is a cocoa egg. So, let's see. Are we going to end this video with a second shiny? That would be absolutely crazy if it was the case. <clears throat> let's see if it is. I'm not expecting it, honestly, but you never know. <clears throat> what do we got? Da -da 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 -da. Regular cocoa. Alrighty. Well, either way, we still got a shiny today, and I am very glad that we did. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and grab it real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we'll grab. Uh, we'll grab the rest of them as well. Uh, grab all our marked ones. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Very nice. We'll go ahead and put you up at the front for now. 
Mm, and let's head over to the desert. I, I found this to be a pretty decent spot in the base game to uh, farm for this mark. Uh, because I unfortunately do not have the teal mask yet. I will get it eventually, uh, but I do not have it currently. So uh, I I noticed a lot of people online farming for it over there in that DLC. Uh, obviously, just because where it is new with this update, a lot of people kind of associated it as like a DLC feature right away. But it is, however, available just in the game itself. Uh, you do not require the DLC uh, to be able to get it, which is very nice. Uh, you just need to go around and pick up the little glowing spots with the Pokemon. So you just do the Let's Go feature and send your Pokemon out to collect the glowing spots. And there is a chance that you get the uh, Treasure Hunter mark on them. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we've done what, like five of them now? <clears throat> just take a little check. Hasn't got it yet. Keep looking around for some more little glowing spots. Oh, okay, that that big lag spike scared me. <laughs> I'm saving my game now. <laughs> that that had me nervous. I didn't like that at all. Um, let's see. Any more glowing spots? There's one. So another one over here. All right. Let's see, any more glowing spots? Any random <laughs> full odds shinies? Well, I guess it wouldn't be full, full odds, because I do have the shiny charm, but... Still, any, uh, any random shinies gonna just pop up out of nowhere? <clears throat> Alright, let's see. We'll do another little quick lap around this area. I'll look real close at those, because they have the, the gender difference, so I need to make sure I... I'm checking carefully to see if the gender difference is shiny or not. Um, let's see. There's another one of... This is kind of... I don't want to hit the... <clears throat> the fampy. And start, like, the let's go battle mode. Because I would absolutely get destroyed where my squawk ability is only level 1. Uh, let's see. We'll grab this spot here. I said grab grab the spot, please. Thank you. Alright, have you got, got your mark yet? Alright, he's not got the mark quite yet, or she, I suppose. I will make a quick pause, and I will come back in a few minutes when we have the mark, finally. And then we will go ahead and take, like, a little screenshot of all four of them together, or something like that. And uh, go ahead and wrap up the video. So, yeah, I'll be back in just a second. So, uh, um... I haven't found what I was looking for yet, I don't think at least, but I did just find a random shiny. <laughs> I can't believe I noticed that. <laughs> can, can make Leave a like on this video just for my eyesight, <laughs> for being able to notice that that was a shiny flittle. I honestly have no idea how I did that. Like, that was just raw luck. I'm gonna just throw a luxury ball and hope that it just works. Knowing this game and catch rates... Oh, really? Huh. <clears throat> oh, that's actually bad. It... Mmm. It could end up dying. And that would not be good. Never mind. <laughs> there was a chance that my flame body activated and burned it, and it slowly died of being burned, because it burned itself. Uh, so cool, we got a bonus shiny in this video. <laughs> Completely random. Let's see if we did happen to get that so far. Nope, still nothing. We're having uh, really, really bad luck with this, but um, shiny luck today, on the other hand. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's check these couple of item spots that are just right here, nice and close. Uh, let's see, anything on you? Still nothing. Oh, let's check. Stop. Let's see if you had a, had a mark on you. No, nothing on you either. But uh, you know, I I do always like a nice random shiny. Um, suppose we got to put this one here because we did technically get this before it. Uh, so yeah, gotta love that. Always love a random shiny. Go ahead and save. I really don't want to fight this Bramblin. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I will be back uh, once again. Uh, once we hopefully finally get this mark. I might try changing locations. So, yeah. If we're in a different location when I get back, uh, it's because I got sick of this one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I will, I will be back with that mark, I want to have the treasure hunter mark on this walkability before we end the video. So yeah, if if I find another random shiny or get that mark, uh, I will be back. Okay, so it happened again. I found another random shiny that is like super hard to see. <laughs> but I still haven't found the mark yet. What is going on? Why is my shiny luck better than my mark luck today? This is crazy. Um, <laughs> quick ball? You bail me out of this problem? I cannot believe I keep finding more shinies, but I can't find <laughs> this mark. Like, what is going on? I'll take them. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, well, I guess we've got three shinies in this video now. Um... Jeez, that's crazy. Does this one have a mark? Nope. Yep, three shinies, zero marks. That is crazy. What is what is up with this luck today? Um, let's see. <laughs> is there any? Are we gonna get any more shinies? <laughs> um, let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and put this one away <laughs> as well, real quick. Um. <clears throat> there we go. Save. Very nice. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to get this mark, but I just keep finding shinies. I don't know what to say. Um, are we gonna, are we gonna get another shiny before we get this mark? Or are we gonna get it right here off of this specific soft sand? No. No mark. <laughs> uh, I... Oh, I saw another... Ooh, a double spot. Uh, another spot. Okay, let's see if uh, being here together gives us some luck this time. I doubt it, because it didn't before. Yep, still nothing. Alright. I will be back in a bit when we get this mark. I will not give up. Uh, we are getting the mark here in the video. Um, you know what? Let's... Uh, Okay, I, for a second, thought that was a shiny rufflet. Oh, okay. It's, it's not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me grab that. Check. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go see if you happen to be extra small or extra large. That's the wrong button. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's see if you happen to have one of the two size marks. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Go ahead and travel to nice Mesa Gosa. And come over here to the little flower spot with the chick with the two Pachirisus. Ooh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and check our squawk. Perfectly average sized. Unfortunate. Uh, Alright, I'm going to continue looking for this mark. I will come back once I uh, have it, or if we find yet another random shiny. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I see ya. Alrighty. <clears throat> we are back, and we can finally... Assign the item finder mark to our white squawkabilly. Uh, huh, there we go. Sigh of relief breathed. Um, let's go ahead and put you away. And pop up. Oh, right. Pop open a picnic with all four of our uh, little white pompadour parrots. You get out of here, Maridon. You do not have a pompadour. Oh, look how gorgeous they all are. Oh, they're so nice. Let's do that. Let's do one of these. Oh, let me zoom the camera in a little bit more. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, I'm just so excited to finally have this big project hunt over. Finally have all four shiny squawks, and I could not be happier about it. So, yeah, if you are happy for me, go ahead and leave a like and a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, share with a friend, and all that jazz to let me know that you are also excited that this hunt has been finally wrapped up uh, because I am definitely excited that it is wrapped up finally. Uh, so, yeah, now all we really need to wrap up doing is the three starters. We are two-thirds of the way done with those. Uh, so yeah, once we get Fue Coco, I think it is Tatsu Giri time. Uh, that is probably who we're going to move on to next. I know I said at the beginning I didn't know who I wanted to hunt next. That is because I forgore uh, that I wanted to do Tatsu Giri next. So uh, yeah, uh, some of the uh, Fue Coco videos coming up, we may be spending more time in this map location uh, looking for Shiny Cloth as well because I had mentioned this about a month ago or so. I did a video looking for shiny cloth, found one, uh, in the same video, went to go look for a shiny orthworm, didn't find one, reset my game to get my sandwich materials back, and hadn't saved after getting this shiny cloth. So, yeah, don't have that anymore, and definitely want to re-get it. So we'll probably do some wild encounters for cloth, and some eggs for Fue Coco at the same time, as we try to finish him up as well. Uh, but, oh, look at this little, look at this little green one being all excited, doing a little dance. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this hunt, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, share with a friend, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Not sure what we're going to be doing because this isn't stream week, so we'll be doing a video on Wednesday. Not exactly sure yet, but I will see you guys then when I have an idea what we're doing.